have you ever scrutinized labels of the products that you buy? Well, maybe it's time that you do. Companies can make a product look very attractive. Here's some old advertisements. I mean, come on, cocaine toothache drops for children. No, that is definitely not on for today. But so often the labels are misleading and the labels don't show you everything. Everyday products may actually make you sick. Even the food that we eat contains things that make you sick. Have you ever read the label? Toxins all around can lead to cell damage and hormone imbalances. Toxins can cause disease and death. That is why we must be aware of what is in the products that we use. Food, skincare, home care, whatever products. Because we overload our bodies with toxins. And toxic overload leads to disease. Often in the shop, you've got more than one brand of something that you want to buy. They look the same, but look at this picture here. Those two stomachs look the same, I think. What is inside is not the same. The two apples, can you spot the difference? It's time to read the labels. Ingredients in a clinic products and a personal care products can actually over long term make you sick. Don't even realize it. But we don't read the labels. We just trust the product. Have you ever noticed aluminium and alcohol in baby lotion and also antiperspirants? Check next time. Next time you buy toothpaste, read the label. See what's inside. Even the fluoride-free toothpaste warns against swallowing the toothpaste, so why do you warn you against it? Also note that some toothpastes contain sorbitol, which is osmotically active, which means it draws water into the cells, which causes these cells to swell. This can eventually result in serious complications, such as sorbitol, diabetic neuropathy, and other issues. Sorbitol is also artificial sweetener. Therefore, read the label. We must even read the labels on our food. Our food is not the same anymore. Look at baby formula. We want healthy children, but come on. Arsenic, cadmium, lead, acrylamide. At high levels in nearly 80% of infant formula? That's shocking. Store salt honey. Often, is not honey. Or is diluted. Got blanche had an insert on that. Rats fed GMO foods developed tumors. Cancer from genetically modified foods. And unfortunately, South Africa, 80% plus of corn in South Africa is genetically modified. And corn syrup are in thousands of products. Therefore, read the label if you want to stay healthy. Consumer reports tested this corn chip. On the label it says non-GMO. What did they find? This corn chip was actually GMO. They took the company to court. Consumer Reports lost the court case. The company claimed the non-GMO is for the packaging, not for the content. That's disgusting. That's misleading. And genetically modified organisms are common in South Africa. Sugar and carbohydrates can be disguised in many forms. And fruit manufacturers disguise sugar in many ways. There are so many different names for sugar. Look on the list here. You see this caramel also on the list. Look on the fizzy drink tin. Look at the ingredient. It says colorant and in brackets caramel. But they say there's no sugar in that thing. Now that's distressing to think that the labels can be so misleading. Many ingredients are not on the label. Look at table salt. 9% of table salt is contaminated with microplastics. It's not on the label. What about diet cola linked to dementia and strokes? That warning is not on the label, but it's presented as a healthy alternative 
to a treat that contains sugar. People are looking for healthy fats and oils, and therefore they buy olive oil. But read the label. UC Davis found 69% of imported olive oil to be fake or did not meet standards. This was for the USA. In South Africa, Carte Blanche did something similar and they also found results showing that a lot of imported olive oil is not olive oil or is blended with other oils. When you want to buy an olive oil, look for organic seal. Make sure it's cold pressed or cold extracted. So beware of any olive oil that has been distilled or is made by condensation. Careful of refined oils as that means they're more processed. Be careful also of blended oils. This olive oil, Brax, is a very good example of one that you can use. There is a lot of nasty stuff in the food that we buy. So next time you buy your favorite food, read the label. You might be shocked. Many foods contain ingredients that are not even mentioned on the label. Here's an example, ice cream. I don't see anything there that indicates that there is antifreeze in there, but why do you think ice cream stays so soft and creamy? The antifreeze contains propylene glycol. The propylene glycol is found in tons of things, not just ice cream. And it's linked to many, many diseases. Yes, you must take in a lot of it before you get sick, but we keep on adding toxins to your body in small quantities. And take note, this product also contains corn syrup. And corn syrup very likely will be genetically modified, which is also not a good idea. Therefore, read the label and even try and find out what is not on the label. Let us look a bit closer to an ingredient list. Here's an example. Take note that product ingredients are listed by quantity, from highest to lowest amount. This means therefore that the first ingredient is what the manufacturer used the most of. Note that some ingredients may not even be listed, as often an ingredient is seen as a standard ingredient for the type of product. Now if the first ingredient, for example, is a grain, or type of sugar, or hydrogenated oils, you can assume the product is not healthy. Take this example here. First, whole white rice, so this full of starch. Then number two, sugar. So the first two ingredients, most of the product beef consists of these two, carbs. And we know we get too much carbs already from the food. And also note there, it contains calcium carbonate, not a very good source of calcium. And then iron, metal, iron, not in a, what's called ionic form, or in a salt or mineral form, is iron, the metal. So you can see, this label shows it clearly, this product is not healthy. When you search on YouTube for iron fortified cereal, you find many videos that will show you that a lot of cereals contain iron filings. Now take note, the iron filings are trapped inside that flake inside a layer of carbs so when you eat it it doesn't get exposed necessarily to the stomach acid so some of it gets through to your small intestines where it can actually cause damage yes it will take years but many people 10 or 20 30 years later on start struggling with gut issues and it might be linked to this type of iron the ingredient list on the label can often be very misleading. If a label says like natural, check the ingredients. Remember, rocks are natural too. Snake venom is also natural. The word natural is often abused. Natural on the label often simply indicates that at one point, the manufacturer worked with a natural source like apples. So, rather buy trusted brands. And even there, be careful. J&J was sued millions for carcinogens in their baby products. So, try looking for products that list whole foods as the first three ingredients. And be skeptical of foods with long lists of ingredients. Be careful. 
let me explain a bit more. If on the label it says 100% organic, and if the label is honest, then all ingredients in the product are organic. If the label only says organic, then at least 95% of the product's ingredients are organic. If it states made with organic ingredients, then at least 75% of the product's ingredients are organic. Meat packaging also has got terminology, like natural. If it is natural, the label may refer to beef and lamb as being produced naturally, but this only means that the meat may not have any artificial colors, artificial flavors, preservatives, or other artificial ingredients. If it is grass-fed, this is considered a more greener option, a kinder option, where cows are fed primarily on the natural diet of grass because they grow and graze freely. Nutrition labels state how many calories and nutrients are in a standard amount of the product, often suggested a single serving. But remember, most people tend to eat more than the serving size on the product, which means they will get in more than what is stated on the label. If there's lights on the label, light products, they are processed to reduce either calories or fat. Some products are simply watered down. Check to see if anything has been added instead. Often, they add sugar. When they take fat away, they add sugar to give more taste. If it is multi-grain, that means the product contains more than one type of grain. These are most likely refined grains, unless the product is marked as whole grain. But this doesn't say how much grain is in there. If you look at the labels, you often might see things like no added sugar, or low calorie, or low fat, or low carb. Let's look at that a bit more. No added sugar? Some products are naturally high in sugar. Therefore, even though they don't add any sugar, it doesn't mean it's healthy. Or, unhealthy sugar substitutes may have also been added, like the artificial sweetness. If it says low calorie, also be careful. Brand A may produce a low calorie product or light product, which may have one third fewer calories than its original brand. But, brand B may sell a normal version that may actually have less calories than the version of brand A that's supposed to be low calorie. So read the label. If it is low fat, be careful, because often they add sugar to give a taste. If it is low carb, other things you see on labels are things like made with whole grains. This product may contain very little whole grains. If whole grains aren't in the first three ingredients, the amount is negligible. So don't be fooled by saying made with whole grains. Check the ingredient list. If it is gluten free, it still doesn't mean it's healthy. Many gluten free foods are highly processed or loaded with unhealthy fats and sugar. Carte Blanche exposed fake gluten free products and they're sold and people think they're gluten free. If it is food flavored, Many processed foods have a name that refers to natural flavor. However, the product may not contain any fruit at all, only chemicals designed to taste like fruit. If it says zero trans fat, this phrase usually means something like less than 0.5 grams of trans fat per serving. The product may still contain trans fats. If it says fortified or enriched, some nutrients have been added to the product. For example, vitamin D. But just because something is fortified doesn't make it healthy. I mean, even metal filings are added and synthetic vitamins are get added. So read the label. Many people want to prove their health by taking supplements, but even that is not risk free. And even they must learn to read the label and often what is not on the label. Look at all the serious adverse events associated with dietary supplements, including vitamins and herbs. It's terrible. And people don't read the labels. They don't do their homework. Many supplements out there actually contain prescription drugs. 
since 2008, there have been recalls of more than 400 such products, mostly those marketed for bodybuilding, sexual enhancement and weight loss, according to the FDA. And people think it's safe. Do your homework. Read the label. Some natural products are anything but natural. Synthetic ingredients are even allowed in multivitamins that bear the Department of Agriculture's organic seal. The FDA has said that synthetic copies of botanicals don't qualify as dietary supplement ingredients at all. Natural nutrients, these are obtained from whole food sources in the diet, so from proper food obtained. Synthetic nutrients are ones that are prepared in the laboratory using an industrial process. So synthetic nutrients do not include whole food supplements. Whole food supplements are made from concentrated, dehydrated whole foods. And unfortunately, the majority of supplements on the market are artificial. More than 90%. But these things are not on the labels. More things you won't see on the labels are things like synthetic vitamin B's seems to have no evident impact on the occurrence of chronic disease. Also, synthetic beta carotene has almost no noticeable effect except for a negative effect on people who smoke. It actually increases the risk of getting lung cancer. High doses of synthetic vitamin E may actually increase the risk of death. And other research also shows that high doses of vitamin E, synthetic vitamin E daily, may increase your risk of prostate cancer by 17%. And you think you're taking something that's actually promoting good health. And these things are not in the label. But now you can see that you must read more than just the labels. You have to do more research. Here are some more examples. Cadmium and lead in 70% of protein powders. BPA in 55% of protein powders. Clean labeled projects found plant-based powders were the worst, with Garden of Life raw proteins ranking last in their research. Forbes reports protein supplements spiked with cheap fillers. And take note, NY State Attorney General reports GNC, Walmart, Target, Walgreens, Herbals do not contain herbs shown on the label. Powdered rice, beans, peas, wild carrots, and so on. No evidence also of aloe vera found in aloe vera products at the shops. One must be careful about supplements. Here is an example of bad quality green tea capsules that cause liver health problems. Remember to read the labels. Even diet pills can have dodgy ingredients. As more than 90% of supplements on the market are synthetics, the research indicates that synthetics can be harmful. One must read the labels. One needs some guidelines and tips to identify synthetics. Here are some tips when buying supplements. What to look for. If the bottle says 100% natural, the vitamin supplement does not contain synthetics. Now, that is if the manufacturer is honest. But if the label just says natural, it might have at least some synthetic components. On the other hand, if the label states 100% animal based or it states 100% plant based, then it's probably not synthetic. If it does not state this, then look at the ingredient list. As a mission to state 100% natural or food based does not imply it is not 100% natural. Also, check the vitamins listed. If the vitamin starts with the DL, like DL alpha tocopherol, the DL, the L indicates synthetic. A natural vitamin only has got a D in front. Just take note of amino acids. If there's an L in front of an amino acid, the L indicates natural. More things to look for. Look for food sources on the label, like oranges instead of vitamin C. If the label does not contain a list of natural food sources or whole foods, then the product most likely is synthetic. Look for food sources like yeast, fish, specific vegetables, or herbs, or fruit. 
also check the potency listed on the label. If it's a very high potency, like 500% uh, of the daily requirements or something like that, it is most likely synthetic. As it is difficult to make a natural product from whole food with such high quantities. If the supplement contains an isolated nutrient, like only vitamin D or only vitamin A or only vitamin B12, it very likely is synthetic. And it is an isolated nutrient, which normally has got a low absorption rate than those you get from whole food. And if you isolate it, it misses out on other good synergistic properties when working together with other nutrients. Often labels include terminology like derived from, like for vitamin B is derived from yeast. Now that can be an indication that there will be synthetic vitamins in the supplement. But it can also be that it really is a natural supplement too. But don't be fooled, if it says derived from, that does not mean that it is a natural supplement. You need to do your homework. Furthermore, be aware of vague statements by companies like it contains omega-3 fish oils. If it doesn't state where the oils come from, like for example it comes from tuna or salmon, does indicate that specifically is a possible sign that the fish oil is not sourced from fish. Sometimes one could do a search on the internet to see if a particular company has been sued for false labeling, to see if they were sued for contaminants in the products or for misrepresenting the products. Also look for a third party seal, not the company's own little logo or seal, a third party that states the product is quality organic. A good company, for example, like New Life, use whole food and they do not use GMO ingredients. And they have a third party seal to confirm this. Look for such products. Here are some examples of third party seals that help you identify quality products. These are also called seals of accountability. So if you see these seals, you should be buying good quality. If you want more information on nutrition and lifestyle, you can either visit my website www.vibrantlifestyle.co.za or you can email me at herman at vibrantlifestyle.co.za If you want you and your family to be healthy, it may be time for you to change your buying habits. Think about what you buy, where you buy, and with this really good quality. You don't want to waste your money. For more information, contact the person who shared this video with you or email me at herman at vibrantlifestyle.co.za and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on health and nutrition. A disclaimer. The suggestions made in this presentation are based on research. This research you can find on the internet and nothing in here is meant to be seen as a doctor's prescription. There are simply recommendations for a healthy lifestyle to help the body cope with problems. Come join us in our quest to make the world a healthy and happier place. Join us. You may even benefit financially from this. Contact the person that sent you this video or this link and get more information.